get those triceps to match the biceps because he has humongous biceps. Trying to do center pack, so we do the close to grip bench press. Push your upper lat, okay. center, squeeze in. Bit of back, a little bit of chest, a little bit of back, a little bit of range, it just depends on where he's at in his prep. It's kind of going to be 10, but we go. The shoulder side lateral, what we do, we do it from the side, okay. so we get more caps to come out. We're pushing this way. Normally, people pull it in front, so that's the front raise to me. So, in order to get the side and hit the caps just right, you got to roll our hands back, palms are facing behind.
Sir Charles. Front raise. All right, with a slight bend over. Front delt, you gotta lean into it. Keep all the pressure on your front delt. Okay. Doing it great. And the reason why is it supernated? Huh? The reason why is it supernated grip? Yeah, because you want to, you want to hold it in that center of your hand. Okay. That way it hits the front delt. If you turn it, it goes more toward the side. So we're trying to get more of that front delt on. What is it that probably things for long to work on or improve? Actually, it's not, there's not a lot that he can improve on in the physique category. What's going to end up happening, he's going to put on so much muscle that it's going to move him from physique into the classic physique world. Then, we need some improvements. But in classic, you know, a little bit more upper peg, a little bit more thickness to the peg. Uh, in the back, we got to work more of the center part of the back. Uh, we're missing a little bit there and pull out a little bit more of that lower lap. Try to keep his waist size nice and tight, you know, and then we got to build the legs up. And once we do all that, it'll be perfect. It'll be a good classic physique guy. But, you know, his, but his look, his appeal, he should stay in either classic or physique. He'll do wonders. But first, they have to know who he is. By him competing in the shows already, it's going to give him a more of an advantage. So it's gonna look good. You know, get those triceps to match the biceps because he has humongous biceps and the triceps a little behind. But he looks great. He don't it's not a lot of work just to keep the diet going. He'll be perfect. He'll be okay. Awesome. Yeah. Look at look at the delts on him. You don't see it that's a quality delt. And the dot delts tie into the arm really nice and beautiful. Look, look how it, the delt overlaps the pec right on time. If you had a little bit more upper pec, you'll see a lot more thickness to the whole part of that body. And see how, how his waist trims down? The lats are nice. A little bit more lower lat, it's going to be perfect. And he has legs, so <laughs> that's a good thing about it. So you would say it would be an easy transition for him? It, it, the transition would be so easy for him to go from physique to classic physique, yeah. Classic physique only means the way they used to look. This is how they look. Perfect. Absolutely. See, now you see how that back shot looks there? Looks for the lower lap. That's what he needs right there, the lower lap. A little bit more of the center back. Once you hit a little bit more of that center, you know we're talking about flexing. Yeah. You know, right up in here. Mm -hmm. This you have the rectus you have, but the lower lat right up in here we need to get a little more thickness there. The rear delt's nice, but the rear trap is a little on the weak side because we don't hit traps a lot. Right. He has mid. He has mid trap. See, it's just a trap. Got to pull it up just a little bit more. Get a little bit more thickness. Not here, but mainly here, to the back side. Yeah. It's going to be nice. Awesome. Easy transition for him. Great. Thank yeah. you, Charles.